Oh, hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back. I'm Mariam, this is the look that I prepared for you today using all the new products that are available for us in this episode of what's new in makeup for the month of March. I have a lot of products in front of me, some of which I like, some of which I liked a little bit more, but you're gonna have to watch this video in its entirety to find out what were some of my favorites from this trial. So with that said, let's get into it. Subscribe if you aren't already, notification bell for Wednesdays and Sundays videos, and now let's get into it, testing new makeup to find out what's new in makeup this month. Let's hit it. First things first, I'm gonna clip away these bangs, by the way. Got my hair cut yet again. I'm just so not into the awkward length. Every time I wanna grow out my hair, it gets to this awkward length and then I'm like, nope, gotta chop it again. All right, first things first, like I said, gonna use these Pixie Clarity Blemish Stickers for my forehead because I have a nice sexy horn yet again on my forehead. I don't know what's going on, but it is happening. So I'm just gonna wear this to kind of seal it in, hide it and keep it out of sight, out of mind. Next, we've got a few new products to test out, but before I do, I'm gonna use my Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder all over the skin, specifically in the center. My skin right now is uh, on the better side. It's healing from all the breakouts of last week outside of the horn on my forehead, but the rest of my skin is looking okay. So I actually think I'm gonna retry the Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I'm gonna reach back for it. Shade 12 O is the one that I like the best for myself. I feel like it's a less saturated olive than the 9W, which is a warm. It feels like a much more saturated warm. I'm liking this shade on me a lot better. So this is the one that I'm gonna be probably reaching for if this second trial goes well. I admit, I have not reached back for this foundation since I tested it in its original video, but in that video, my skin was going through a moment. It was really bumpy around the jawline. I was breaking out pretty bad, and so I just didn't like it for my bumpy skin. But today, my skin is much smoother, so I'm gonna see if I like it this time. I'm gonna use the same brush. Doesn't say the name of the brush, but it's the one that's intended for the foundation. And I think I'm gonna concentrate this product mainly in the perimeter of my face and kind of buff it into the center. I think like that, it looks a lot better. I don't know, maybe it's me, maybe my skin is not as good in the center as it is in the perimeter. But initially, I just was not completely sold on the way that this foundation sat on my pores and on all of the texture that I had happening. Though I will say it is looking a lot better today, given the fact that my canvas is a lot clearer. I actually have a beauty event tonight that I may or may not go to. I'm still a little bit undecided. If I decide to go, I obviously wanna look good. It is for foundation launch, so kind of want my base to look its best, you know? Okay, I think that looks not terrible. Definitely better than my first initial trial. Yeah, you could still see some of my spots and um, some texture imperfections here and there, but overall, I do think my skin looks better. Let me see if I can add just a little bit to the forehead, because my hairstylist did shear out my bangs a little bit more. Now the forehead will be a little bit more visible, so I'm just gonna add the smidgiest, the smidgiest amount, and I'm just gonna very lightly spread that. I'm gonna see if I can maybe build up the coverage a little little bit here just to minimize some spots better and I definitely like this shade match better than the other one I tried so the 12 o 12 olive is the one that I'm going for I feel like this is my best shade match out of all the shades and I tried them all I swatched all of them literally all the 30 shades so if you haven't seen it it's there check it out okay let's move on to concealer. I have a couple of new concealers that I wanna test out. First and foremost, we have some new products from Glowish, from Huda's Glowish Clean Line, and one of them actually is a concealer. So it's their new Bright Light Sheer Concealer. I'm gonna go for the shade Light Medium, which I believe is the shade that Huda uses. And her skin tones are somewhat similar. This is the package, squeezy tube, but we do have a wand. This is actually my favorite packaging for concealer. So let's see. Three dots is what you're supposed to add. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my Lawless Concealer Brush. It's a nice, dense, but fluffy, angled kind of concealer brush. Been using this one for a while. And let's see what happens. Oh, I really like this one, actually. So the undertone is peachy orange. So it did a great job of canceling out the darkness or the purpleness of the under eye circles. Not that I'm someone who suffers from severe under eye circles, but just this little bit, this 
bright light sheer amount was perfect for me. I even like the shade. It's not brightening my under eye, but I don't really want brightening with a sheer product. I actually want it to be more of a skin matching, more of like a natural kind of conceal, if you will. I really like this. I think this is great. So I do like some of Glowish products. I do love their blushes and their bronzing powders. Amazing. But their uh, face setting powder is a little bit too metallic for my liking. I'm also not crazy about the skin tint. Also a bit on the metallic side, just a little too liquidy for my oily AF skin. So, so far, I like some of the products, not all of them, but this one, off the bat, I do like. It is sheer, it is light, you need the tiniest amount of product, it's not even creasing. Promising, promising, promising. So I was actually gonna try a different concealer on the other side, but you know what? I like this one so much, I'm gonna use it on both sides. And with this brush, it's really seamless. Love that, easy. All right, I do wanna show you another concealer that I have in my collection here in front of me. And it's the new Butter Glow Concealer Slash Corrector from Physicians Formula. So there's six shades ranging from fair to light, all the way to rich. Obviously not gonna use all the shades. So I am probably gonna go for the shade medium to tan. It looks kind of light to me, but the light to medium is like, looks super, super pale. So I'm not really sure. Ooh, it's got one of those applicators that frankly, I'm not the biggest fan of. Ah, wait a minute. This is actually smart, even though I've seen this before. I literally just reviewed another concealer with the same type of packaging from Alioop. Basically a concealer wand and then a little sponge applicator on the top. So kind of like a dual purpose, on the go type of feature. But anyway, I'm gonna go for the shade medium to tan. I'm gonna add a little bit, just a little bit. Truthfully, I'm not a fan of these applicators, so I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna use that, that same brush. Oh, wow. It's really nice. Really nice at first impression. Pigmented, very, very liquidy. I'm gonna apply some to my lids as well. You see how that just canceled out all of my little veins? Not too bad, not too bad at all. The shades I will say are leaning heavily towards the lighter spectrum. I don't think this represents a true medium tan. This is more like a light medium. Man, it is a beautiful concealer. It looks incredible in my monitor. I don't know if my monitor is lying to me, but even in my mirror over here, it is just such a seamless full coverage that looks really natural and just really, really good. Wow, I'm impressed, Physician's Formula. Okay, that's a keeper. This one is a keeper. All right, so quickly, I'm gonna just set that under eye with the Domini Cosmetics Rosita Powder. I love this one so much, and I love saying Rosita. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, but before I dip into Rosita, let me actually show you another package from Sigma in collaboration with my girl, Kristen, AKA the founder of Dominique Cosmetics. Kristen Dominique, here she is looking stunning as always. One of the most beautiful people inside and out. And she has collabed with Sigma on a brush set. And this is actually six brand new patented brushes. Here they are already took the liberty to take them out. So you know what? I'm gonna use these brushes to set my under eye because we've got some nice choices for the under eye over here. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for this Brighten and Bake, literally exactly what I was looking for. Brighten and Bake brush from Sigma X Kristen Dominique. I'm making sure there's no creases or lines. So far so good, but you know, you still wanna be careful. And I'm gonna set that real quick. Ooh, this hair, ooh girl, okay. How perfect. I love setting a yellowy concealer with a pink brightening powder. First of all, I think it's modern. Second of all, I think it's clever. It's like the best of both worlds. You're color correcting and you're also setting the color correct with a brightening shade, so. Okay, so it looks like this concealer definitely creased in my lids, which is no problem. I'm just gonna reinforce that with the powder, boom and we're good to go. I'm gonna set that aside for now, and I'm not gonna set the rest of my face just yet because I actually have new blushes, bleh, new blushes to test out from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wands. Actually, these are not so new, but they're kind of new for me because the PR package was like sitting underneath all of my other packages and it somehow got lost because it was like a really long, thin kind of package that is like the perfect bottom layer of package stacks, if you know what I mean. So anyway, I just got around to opening this. I do believe this launched a while ago, but I'm not too, too late. So these have been going viral, literally viral everywhere on TikTok, on IG, even here on YouTube. Let's try them. I'm gonna go for pink. 
since I'm in a very pink mood. Pillow Talk Pink Pop. Ah yes, and so this is also from the Pillow Talk collection. It's one of those blushes. Personally, I'm not a fan of the sponge tip applicator. I know some people like it. It looks really cute on social media when you're just like creating content, but let's face it, not everyone's a content creator. And most people are not content creators. So I don't know. I feel like for makeup artists or even just like for everyday wear, this is not practical, but it is cute for the camera. I'm gonna do one cheek at a time. I'm gonna grab the Huda Beauty Face Cheek Color. I'm gonna lightly pat that in. Pretty, very, very pretty, but subtle. More subtle than I was expecting. I'm gonna add a little bit more on top. Perhaps I should have blended that out with a sponge, but you know what? Not a sponge girl. I was about to say cat hair, and then I smiled inside because my cat, my hero, is doing so well, you guys. If you haven't been uh, following along with what happened on my IG, and also here in my previous videos, my cat had surgery, massive surgery for a hairball, and so freaked me out to say the least, but he is now recovering. We are now 12 days post-op, and last night was the first night that he actually slept in bed with us, which means that he's feeling better, he's back to his normal self, and I just, I couldn't be happier. I am back to my normal self. So now, I can finally talk about cat hairs, which there's still lots of, thank God. Meow. Back to the blush. I like the double layering here, though I'm not sure if you can actually see the blush on camera. I can see it in my mirror and it looks really good, but on camera, it's kind of like a barely there moment, so not sure. Maybe it's this color. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit more. Another problem with this packaging is that once you start it up, you can't really tell if you're squeezing enough or not enough. Okay, let's do a little more. And a little bit here. Mm, honestly, I don't know if I'm sold on this one. I mean, it blends, it blends well, the color is pretty, but this is the type of packaging that makes me forget to reach for it. That's how much I don't like this type of packaging. Like, do I want to deal with the mess? Do I want to possibly risk my skin breaking out because this isn't hygienic? I don't know. I know I'm the only one using it, but still, but still, it harbors bacteria, you know? Okay, what happens if I blend this out with my finger? Ooh, it doesn't blend. Not quite the vibe I was going for, but it's working. You know what? At least it's working with this Mario foundation. At least it's not a clash. So now naturally what I want to do is um, I want to remove the remaining product from the applicator. And when I do this, look how much product I'm wasting. I don't know why brands continuously think that this packaging is cute. When to me, it's just like there's so many things wrong with it, but the product is nice. Okay. Moving on, let me set the rest of my face. I'm gonna go for the Essence 16 hour cover and last because good and I love it. But before I do, I'm gonna use my Jones Road number nine face pencil to cover up this little dot here. Because the Mario foundation is not exactly full coverage. It's not giving me the kind of coverage that I require personally, which is okay. Because there's always concealer. Jones Road brush, big bronzer brush that I always use for powder. It is now clean. I'm gonna set the perimeter of my face and a little bit into this blush just like kind of going up very gently like that setting the nose and i'm gonna set this forehead just to like eliminate shine from the center so now that the face is set i'm gonna reach for these danessa myricks vision flush highlighters so you may already know that one of my favorite highlighters is actually tiara from the vision flush collection by danessa Myricks. And now I have my hands on the rest of the shades. So I am gonna go for a new shade, something that I haven't tried before. But I'm gonna show you a close up of all of these. I actually took a video in direct sunlight and these were glistening and glowing so beautifully. I just had to take that video for IG stories. So today I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the shade Electric Love. This one looks like pinky iridescent type of color. And I'm gonna add that right here, right on top of my cheekbone. I'm also gonna add a little bit to the inner corners and right here on my brow bone. This is a super unique formula that has a very wet finish, but it's not sticky. It's almost gel-like, but it's in a liquid format, so it's unique and just so stunning. It gives this wet, ethereal type of finish. Looks so good if your hair is up. I'm just such a huge fan, and this shade is working. It is working for me. This one I like to blend out with my fingers just because I like to feel this product. And I think it's a little bit easier to melt and blend into your skin when you use your fingers. But this to me just looks so incredibly dewy and so pretty. Literally obsessed. Forever obsessed with this product. All right, so now that I've done all that, I'm gonna kind of go over the rest of my face. I didn't want to apply this on top of powder, but now I can sort of 
tame it down a little bit with whatever's remaining on my big old brush. And now we can move on to some brow products. Yes. Not my favorite category, but I do have some new brow products from the brand Lawless. So what we have here are two shades of the Shape Up Brow Pencil and then also two shades of the Brow Wax. I think I'm gonna go in with shade Oak at first. It looks like the lighter shade of the two. A little too light for me. Okay, saving that for my bestie. Shade Teddy Bear is the shade that's probably gonna work for me. Yeah, this is a little bit better. The pencil itself is very, very soft, very easy to use. So it's great for just filling in the brows. It has a powdery finish, but not too precise of an edge, which is okay because this isn't the type of product that you would use to draw individual strokes. This is strictly for filling in and it blends out really easily with the other side. I'm not too mad. I feel like that was a rather pleasant experience. I like the shade too. All right, let's go ahead and uh, fill in the other side. Whenever I do use brow pencils, this is the formula that I prefer. Soft, easy, powdery, not waxy. And I prefer this because my eyebrows are on the thicker side. The individual brow hairs are thicker in diameter than fine brows. And so because of that, waxy brow products just don't work on my type of coarse brow hairs, but this works much, much better. So this is why I prefer this type of formula. I like this, keeping it. So now the brow wax is something that I'm uh, much more skeptical about because, well, like I said, I don't like wax in my brow hairs. It just doesn't work on brow hairs that are thick and coarse, but I'll try it. Ooh, I do like the packaging, it's cute. Looks like it's tinted. I'm using the shade medium dark. Not sure if I'm the ideal candidate for this. Yeah, the brow wax is just okay. It grooms the brows, but it doesn't really glue them the way that I need them to be glued. So if you have fine brows, you will probably like this. For me, I need something grippier, but it's fine because I have bangs. Okay, she's coming together. She's coming through. She is coming alive. You know what? I said I like Huda's Glowish Bronzer, so I'm gonna go for Huda's Glowish Bronzer. I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe You Sculpted Contour and Highlight brush. Looks more contour than highlight to me. But anyway, I'm gonna dip into this shade two medium and add a little bit right underneath the cheekbone not too much just a little blend it into the hairline just lot that jaw same thing here okay she sculpted bare minerals mineral veil for the center of the face to get rid of the shine in the pore zones and to also smooth the pore zones i told you i'm never skipping this product one thing i will say is that this powder goes surprisingly well with Mario's foundation. I was actually shocked at how well the foundation wore throughout the day. It actually looked a lot better hours after than when I first applied it on, which is actually why I'm testing it out again. And now I'm just gonna dip into the glowish blush, shade Milky Rose, just a little bit, because I feel like I need a, a better transition between this very bright highlighter and this rosy cheek. So I'm just gonna dab that right in between just to soften it a bit. I don't know about you, but I feel like that did it. That was like the little bit of softness that the cheek needed. Here for it. Okay, next, are we ready for eyes? Today, I am not actually testing out eyeshadow. No palettes in sight. In fact, I have something much more exciting. Urban Decay just launched 24-7 inks, lasting creative liners for the artist. This is a huge PR package for just some liners. I know but let's go ahead and pick one. Actually, let's pick all of them out. So first of all, I really like the design of these. In fact, they remind me of artists' brushes or artist markers. They look really cool. They're really easy to grip. There's like this nice grippable little nodule here. Like the design is actually smart. I'm excited. There's all these cool shades like yellow and green and blue. So I'm gonna get graphic. I'm gonna save the black for last. First thing I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do, Let's go get that liner that flew God knows where. Okay, hold on. Talk about grippable design. Literally just flew out of my hand. Okay, I'm gonna start with the first shade that I am interested in, which is the yellow. I'm gonna shake it up. Apparently, you are supposed to shake it really well before you use it. Kinda wish this would somehow get attached to the back, but it's not. All right, so let us begin. Lids are clean somewhat. I'm gonna start by drawing a thin yellow line outwards like that. Okay. First impression, I feel like this yellow could be brighter, but I understand that yellows are really, really hard to formulate, so I'm not complaining too much. It is also very, very liquidy. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna go over it once more to build up the intensity of the color. I don't know if that worked. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. 
Also, yellow is a very ambitious color in cosmetics, so I'm gonna forgive it. I'm gonna reach for another color. Let's go for a bright blue. Let's shake it up. I look like a bird. And with this blue, I'm gonna basically, ooh, I don't know if I like this blue. Not this blue. Let's go for a different blue. Shade Binge is the one that I'm gonna go for. I want something bright and popping. So with this one, I am literally gonna cross over and kind of complete the wing, but in an artistic way, like that. So what's cool about this liner is that it is actually a bristle liner. So you don't often see bristle liners for colorful eyeliners. Usually you see it for black, but not so much for color. So that's refreshing. Again, I do wish these were more vibrant and not as liquidy as they are, but I'm not hating. Let's go for another color. I'm gonna go for the green now. Shake it up. I'm gonna go from my inner corner straight out like that. This is a really nice green actually. Probably the best color of the bunch thus far. And now I'm gonna go for the deepest blue. I'm gonna shake it up. And once again, I'm gonna cross over and create a floating liner here. Again, not the best, not the most vibrant of colorful liners, but at least it's precise. So now I'm going in with the shade Oil Slick, which I think is a black with sparkles or like a metallic black. So what I'm gonna do here is I am gonna sharpen the yellow because it's barely noticeable. Okay, this is not the best, shoot. I feel like this color needs to be worked up a bit. It's just like not as black as I was expecting. So let me grab the black. Sharpening the yellow. It's kind of fun. And now I'm gonna extend the inner corner just a bit. All right, so this look is coming together. I'm gonna extend the inner corner like that and take it back and connect it. Kind of fun, no? Not your average look, but you know, not too bad. So now, I'm thinking this look definitely needs a little bit of brightness. So I'm gonna use the white, which is ozone. I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna add white wherever I feel like white is needed. I'm thinking this triangle right here may use a little bit of white. Yeah, this triangle here could use a little bit of white. Yeah, and let's add a little bit of white underneath this blue. Let's actually take it all the way and connect it with the outer corner blue. I feel like that's kind of fire. All right, one more thing I'm gonna do is sharpen a bit of that outer wing blue. Just feel like this blue is getting lost. Okay, it's kind of futuristic and fun. Let's just say we tried it and let's move on. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes, Refer Lash Curler, and moving on to mascara. I have another new mascara from Lawless. In the shade Nightlife, it is the one and done long wear volumizing mascara. First time trying it, it's supposed to be a clean formula. Mm. Wand is quite gimmicky. You know what, maybe that's okay. I feel like I could potentially mess up this eye makeup if I had a normal wand. Okay, not crazy about this mascara. It is kind of clumpy, very clumpy. Ooh, girl, no, no. Definitely hard to use. Okay, not my favorite. Sorry about that. Not a fave, but I guess it did what it needed to do, so I'm fine with it. Oh my gosh, I also completely forgot to show you these two new Pillow Talk Hypnotizing Pop Shots, new shades from Charlotte T. This lavender one, if I didn't have this eye makeup happening, hello, this would be the one that I would apply. And also this new shade called Pillow Talk, which is literally the pop shot eyeshadow version of Pillow Talk the lip liner, Pillow Talk the lipstick. So just had to share that. Before the lips, I say let's keep it simple. I've got this new hydrating lip gloss from Catrice. It's called Lip Jam. There's a bunch of flavors or colors. So I think I wanna try this. First things first, Persona Cosmetics Lip Liner in Rosewood, one of my faves. This is just a nice neutral nude. Such a pigmented formula. Gonna line the lips and feather it in. And then I'm gonna go for this shade, a little peach of heaven. Oh yeah. This is giving me like a slight 90s vibe type of lip with the brownie nudie outline and the slightly peachy gloss. No, I actually think the gloss is clear. I didn't get a sense that there's color to it. Definitely smells like peach but looks a lot more clear, like a lip balm. So now let me go ahead and let me fix up this hair and present to you this final look. Okay, so this look clearly needs its own moment. It needs its own outfit. It needs like the most appropriate hair and just like the most appropriate occasion to wear it to. But that's not to say that this look isn't me. This is something that I love about makeup, being able to get creative, being able to get graphic and just try to do something a little bit different outside of the box while still maintaining a sense of pretty. So now let me go ahead and um, talk about all these products that I tried today. Day. some for the first time, some for the second time. Let's start with the 
Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. This was my second time trying the foundation and I gotta say it looks a lot better than the first time I tried it. And I credit that solely to the fact that my skin is not breaking out as heavily as it did in my original trial, which basically proves my original point that this particular foundation is not meant for problematic skin. The better your skin is, the better this foundation will look on you. So right now, I like my complexion. I don't think it's particularly different, better or worse than anything else I already wear. So speaking of just complexion, I'm not hating it. I'm not like, super, super, super impressed. I would have liked a little bit more coverage in certain areas, perhaps a little bit more dewiness than luminosity that this foundation gives. But overall, like I said, I'm not hating it. I will say I was pleasantly surprised with both concealers that I tried today. The Huda Beauty Glowish Concealer, which is somewhere around here. I gotta find it in my mess. And also the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer. This one surprised me even more. I loved the amount of pigmentation this offered considering how lightweight and how liquidy it was. It's not every day that you come across that combination of attributes when it comes to a concealer. This will definitely stick around. I'm excited to see how this wears. Hopefully it'll wear well, but so far I really like the under eye. I feel like it looks very natural, not makeupy at all, not heavy. I'm into it. The Charlotte T Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wands were cute. It's a really good idea. However, the packaging of this just sucks. As much as I like the product, as much as I love the contour wands, the highlighting wands, this packaging just ain't it for me. I don't like it. I don't like how easily the little sponge applicator gets dried and clogged. It's just not my favorite thing ever. If they were to change that packaging, I bet this product would sell even better, I'm just saying. Not to say that it's a bad product and not to say that people will actually care, but for me, this is a thing. Moving on, Danessa Myrick's Vision Flush Glow Highlighters are a hit for me. They've always been a hit, and now that I've tried another shade, it's still a hit. I love this formula, I think it's so unique and just so breathtaking. If you wanna look like a Hollywood goddess, if you wanna look like a supermodel off duty, this is the product that you will love. And the fact that there's so many different options for so many different skin tones is also a plus, a big plus at that. As far as all the Lawless products that I've tried today, I have to say I am pleasantly surprised with the brow pencil. This one will stick around, I did enjoy it, although the brow wax was just not my cup of tea, but everything else as far as brow products are concerned, well, just that one pencil was good for me. Okay, and now let's talk about these 24-7 inks, colorful liquid liners from Urban Decay that I have been so excited for. I guess I am just a little bit underwhelmed. Although I like the graphic look that I was able to create with these liners, I thought the colors were not punchy enough for me personally. The black was good, the white was okay, the yellow was not great, and the blues could have been better. Will I continue using this? Yeah, I probably will, but do I love every single color? Absolutely not. I kind of wish there was like a super bright, vibrant orange. I wish they had perhaps a metallic shade or two. That would be really nice. But so far, these are just okay. The gloss from Catrice feels a little bit goopy on the lips and the scent is a little bit too overpowering for me. Like my stomach is rumbling, I'm a little hungry and the peach scent is throwing me off because I'm actually wanting some lunch and not dessert. Could be triggering to some people. But anyway, overall, I feel like this was a pretty fair trial. Not everything was up my alley, but nothing was really terrible. So overall, everything has been good. It's been a good makeup sesh. And I hope you enjoyed it too. So with that said, I am gonna wrap up this very long video. I'm gonna zoom on out and invite you to check out more of my videos over here. So click on them and I will see you there. Peace out, I'm out, till next time. Deuces.